Yo, this is Christian. Web dev is a gold rush. And it has been for some time. And this is how you focus in 2022 so you can finally achieve your lifestyle goals, make 60, 80 grand a year as a junior dev and work remotely, okay? I want you to be profitable this year and stop living through other people's lenses, right? I want you to stop watching videos that others are making about how cool their life is today because they are devs. And I want you to live that life for yourself, okay? And here's how you do it. I'm not holding anything back, my friend, all right? I understand, the people around you and those who made it will tell you little lies about what it takes. They don't do it on purpose, of course. They just don't know any better and I don't blame them, to be, to be honest, okay? When I got in and when they got in, it was all luck. By mistake, I somehow managed to put together my strategy, my unique spin on learning web dev and it was successful because I'm lazy. Right? I always want to know how can I do the least amount of work to get maximum output. And if I would have known about this way of learning code back in the day, I would have gotten my job three times faster, <laughs> at least. All right? So what is different about my strategy, the one that I'm proposing to you? All right? It boils down to a few principles. Work as a developer, build what a developer would build. And there are two main types of apps that you can make as a developer. You have dashboards and you have the egg and the chicken. What the fuck is that last one? Airbnb, eBay, Facebook, Instagram, basically any app that requires two types of users that are interacting in one way or another, all right? A dashboard is a place where you visualize data, you have charts, you have tables, you have forms, etc. Now that we have the end goal in mind, we need to map out our technologies. The list is short, React and Redux. These two beasts, can spice up your wallet, you don't need much more than this to make anything and to land a 60, 80 grand a year job, right? A bunch of people will lure you into thinking you have to know everything. You absolutely don't need to know everything, all right, to become a front-end developer. I call this compound technologies, okay? When you go to the gym, you have access to dozens of machines, free weights. You can do so many variations of accessories to build muscle, but many experienced gym goers will tell you that the squat, bench press, deadlift, row, and the shoulder press will be the only exercises you ever need to get the body you want. It's exactly the same with web dev. React and Redux are the compounds of front-end development. You have to learn to use and push these technologies to the limit and you will develop a sickening creativity. With that, you'll be able to create complex apps. Why complex apps though? All right, you'll hear many people getting rejected with the excuse, Billy, we really like you, you don't have enough experience though. Why is that the case? What do they mean by you don't have experience? And how can you get experience so you can walk happily to the bank? Experience is acquired when you work on the same thing for a long period of time until you polish every single edge of your application, until you get to know the ins and the outs of the tech that you're using. That's what experience is. What most people do wrong and what stops them from finally landing their first web dev job is that their longest project is one week, max. Create a project that takes a lot of time to complete, two, three months, and you'll have tons of subjects to talk about in interviews and you'll have an app that you're finally proud of, a real app, all right? Real apps take months, if not years, of continuous iterations to build and you're telling me the app you copy from YouTube or from Udemy is good enough? The second, that you, the second thing that you need is good looks. Not for yourself, but for your app. As a front-end developer, you are responsible for what the user interacts with. You need to develop an eye for subtle things, all right? What most do wrong here is that they have the most basic designs. Some look like MySpace. They send over their portfolio to a recruiter, the recruiter clicks, and the recruiter sees disappointment. Is this guy girl for real, right? I'm getting paid if this aspiring dev stays three months in the job. With this portfolio, my client will think I'm taking the piece. That's what the recruiter thinks. See, that's the issue. That's what, why people don't get interviews. People judge a book by its cover and the cover has to look good. Look at Apple. Their unboxing experience is incredible, slick and to the point and you want to steal that and take advantage of it right now, all right? My students have designs prepared for them and it's not their job to design the app, not at all, all right? That's, that's crazy, that's mental. Designing is another skill in itself. Think about it, as a developer, you will work alongside designers, they will tell you how the app should look and feel for the user and your job is to take that idea and transform it into reality, fast, all right? Speed, third thing, you need to be a fast learner. 
learning is a sprint, mastering a craft is a marathon. If you don't get the ability to learn fast, you lose your job if you get it, all right? People often say learning code is a marathon, but absolutely not. That's bonkers, all right? Mastering a skill is a marathon and takes years. Learning is quick. I can learn the basics of guitar in three months, all right? I can only master it in years though, all right? That's the difference, all right? See that the difference. Just because it's outside the normal scope of activities that we are used to learning, coding is weird and foreign, it doesn't mean learning code is more difficult than learning Russian, let's say. You need a framework, self-awareness, persistence, patience, and relentless execution on a daily basis, all right? Hit that tree with a sharp edge of the ax a thousand times and you will put that tree to the ground. I hope 2022 is gonna be an epic year for you. Peace.